Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I am sharing these cute little no glue boxes. They're super quick and easy. These would be really good for craft fairs. Um, they're so quick um, to put together and they lay flat so you can put them together at the last minute when you're ready to I know when you do craft fairs, things start stacking up because I've done them before and you have no place to store them. So I thought this would be a really cute idea for that. But it'd be cute for some Ghirardelli's, a, a bracelet, a necklace, um, any kind of flat candies would fit inside here. It is three by three by one half. So it's it's really sweet little. And the stamp set that I'm featuring is this Will Walrus Be Friends. I love this one as soon as I saw it in the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog. I had to have it. It's just so darling and it's very quick and easy coloring. If you're not one that really likes to color, it goes super quick. And it's got a lot of really good sentiments. Um, a lot, a big variety of sentiments. So in this one I used I Will Walrus Be Your Friend. And that's so cute. And then this one's just floating by to say hi. And then today we're going to do It's Your Birthday. And I'm going to use this little guy right here for that one. All right, so we are going to use also our layering circles. And then we're going to use our stitched shapes framelits. And I'm using the largest circle um, for that. Now you can use, if you have a punch or anything like that, you can use that. Um, for behind it for your matting, but I love the stitching. It just adds a lot to this box. All right, let's get started. So you're going to need a piece of, this is, I'm doing it Melon Mambo, so it's 5 by 10. And then you'll need a piece of um, Whisper White to stamp your little walrus. And then to mat it, you'll need an extra piece of Melon Mambo. And then I am using this awesome Brights collection. Um, we have this in all of our color families, so it's, I love it, and it's got gingham, everyone, and when the gingham retired, I was so upset <laughs> that it retired, but they gave us more, and I love Stampin' Up! for doing that, <laughs> and, but it has four different patterns on here, and four sheets, I think, of each color, so, and it's six by six. It's perfect for cards, for boxes, for everything. I love this paper. So, we are ready to get started here. So, I'm going to get my Simply Scored, and we're going to score this. So, this is the 10-inch side. Sorry for the reflection, but I had to put on my uh, light above because it's kind of rainy looking outside. So this is the 10 inch side. We're going to score it at three, at three and a half, at six, oh, three. We're going to score it at three, three and a half, six and a half, and seven. And then we're going to turn it and you're going to score it at one half, at one, at four, and at four and a half. That is it. Like I said, these go really quick and easy. All right, so we're going to cut into that second score mark and we're going to go around this whole box. We're going to do this side and then we're going to do the other side. This way we keep it all uniform and no one gets confused because we're going to do the same thing on each side. All right, so this we're going to cut these two off here. Do the same on this side. And then clip off this top one here. And we can cut in these. And then we're going to cut this one off. And we'll go ahead and cut in these as well. And 
and then we are removing this one here and this one here so let's go ahead and cut those I cut these first because it makes it a little bit easier to get in here and cut it you can do this absolutely on your trimmer if you don't think that you can cut straight um, these scissors allow me to cut pretty straight because they're so big and if you have some like this you shouldn't have any problem all right so that is everything so it's going to look like this we are going to go ahead and sharpen all our score marks here all right so how this box goes together here is you're just going to tuck these in this is going to fold in like that you're going to bring this around and then oh i forgot to cut the top part though you can use a corner rounder on this or you can cut these um, yourself but you want to do this because it's a lot easier to fold your top box the lids in all right so then we're going to fold this one in turn it around and we're going to fold this one in and that is it <clears throat> And get that one in in right oh I didn't cut this one good enough it's catching on that little corner all right so there it is and now let's go ahead and mat it so I'm gonna get my little gingham piece here and then we'll get stamping love this gingham I got a little thing hanging here I don't know I'm so particular when it comes to these things <laughs> all right so we're gonna use our whisper white and we're gonna stamp with memento black we're gonna stamp our little walrus and I put him up there because we are gonna use the framelit to cut him out oh let's go ahead and stamp the sentiment now for this the larger sentiments that I used on the other one it was three quarters by one and a half but I'm using it just a half inch piece here I'll cut it down to size when I put it on the box but it says it's your birthday and this will fit in there just like that and we are going to emboss this also um, I'm not sure if you can see it in here but he has little waves that he is sitting on so we are using our new high C's 3d embossing folder but first we're going to cut them out using our framelits and the framelits that I'm using are the layering circles and the stitched um shapes I'm not sure if I even said that my brain today is just like I feel like I'm still asleep actually I'm doing this pretty early in the morning but um, I just feel like I'm still asleep so the um, circle that we're using is about two and three quarters and then it's the largest stitched one so we're gonna do these both at the same time and then we will run it through with the embossing folder all right so here's our stitch circle and then our little walrus guy he's so cute and then we're just going to run him through i'm going to um Oh, I should have colored him first, but that's okay. We'll color him after we get him. So make sure the little Stampin' Up emblem is on the outside so you have this going the right way. And you only need one plate for this. So we're going to use the embossing folder and then one plate on top. Because this is a 3D folder and they are thicker. I 
actually should have um, colored him first, but that's okay. We'll be fine here. All right. Get this straightened out again. Okay, so I'm using my light and dark smoky slate for this, and then I'm going to color a little bit of water under him using the light balmy blue. So I'm quickly just going to use the light. Yeah, color is just fine with the embossing on it. I was worried it wasn't going to color very well, but it's fine. So I guess you can do it before or after. And I'm just doing a tiny bit of shading with the dark. I'm not doing anything fancy here. If you haven't tried our blends, they are awesome. I know you would really, really like them. I, I'm using them constantly. I'm just kind of going over these dark areas. I'm going to go underneath his nose right there just to kind of highlight that. And then maybe a little bit around the side. And I'm just going to go back over it with a little bit of light so it blends it in really good. These are great. They blend so well. So that's going to be it for that. And then I'm just going to take some of this blue. Oops, I need the other one, other side. There are two sides to this. It has the brush and then the little nib. Alright, so that's it for the blue. So we're going to go ahead and mat him now. To the center here, and I love that this fits perfectly and the stitching shows around it. So let's bring our box back and we'll add this to the front of our box. And then the sentiment, let's see how I, much I need to, let's see where I want it. I think we're going to do it like that. So I'm going to just clip it about right here. And we're going to use a couple dimensionals on that just to pop up the sentiment. I could use three on here, but... Because I'd like it all to be even. So there it is. Can you see the little waves on it? It adds quite a bit to it. It's really cute with the little wave um, embossed. All right, so here is all three of them. Aren't they cute? I just love this walrus. All right, everyone, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a video. That would help me so much, and I appreciate it. And also, I... I'm starting a new series on Wednesdays, and it's still going to be, I do simple stamping, but now it's going to be simple stamping and box making, because um, I remember when I very first started, and I was doing um, some really basic boxes, and so a lot of my beginners really wanted to see some more boxes, so I am, or treat holders, or bags anything like that and I'll be sharing them also on there but I'm still gonna share cards for you so just come by and check it out on Wednesdays when I upload I always upload Tuesday Wednesday and Sunday so if you are new to my channel and you don't know that so everyone I hope you enjoyed it have a blessed day and I will catch you in the next one I'll see you later everyone bye